Hey everyone, welcome back to what is very quickly becoming one of my favorite monthly videos to do. It is your top picks in beauty, fashion, and accessories, but I've added a fourth category. I've added a fourth category lifestyle because I've seen a huge uptick in those and I like them as much as anything else. So if you are new to this concept, this is where I use my analytics from the links that you click on to see what you all were most interested in last month and what were the top sellers. So I do this one to recap if you've missed anything. Two, it helps me kind of revisit my closet, my favorite picks. Um, and three, it a lot of these after I've shown you the previous month are on sale or if they've sold out, I, there are other ways for you to get them. So this is why I share them. Okay, starting with something that's not on the list and being on sale, it's this. This was originally, this is from Nordstrom. It's their BP brand. It's a longer leopard print cardigan. Well, um, I found one that I actually like better and I believe was maybe a better price point or about the same at Red Dress Boutique. And it comes in this option and then a creamy white one with lighter, slightly lighter spots. And it sold out and they're really good at Red Dress about if you put yourself on the email list, they will email you as soon as it comes back. And as of at least filming this, it came back. Probably by the time this goes live, it'll sell out again. But my point in bringing this up is specifically at Red Dress, if you do find something you love and it is sold out, put yourself on the wait list because they really do email you when those things come back in. Okay, let's get to it. First thing is beauty. I have written everything out here. And the first thing is what I have on my lips. It was the Clinique Dramatically Different, this has a long name, Lipstick Shaping Lip Color. I am gonna keep fussing with my hair because I don't like how it's lying. Um, I really liked the shade Sugar Coated last month, but I've been playing around more and I found this one. This is Innocently from the same line. And what I really like about this, other than it's sort of a your lips but better, a little more pigmented than Sugar Coated. Sugar Coated has a shimmer, slight shimmer to it. This is pretty much matte, but because of this moisture, you can't see it. It has a little moisture bullet inside the middle of the bullet. It's matte looking without being matte drying. But here's something I'm very excited about. I lined the outside of my lips with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And when I, and I kind of filled an extra on the corners of my lips. When I went to put this on, seamless, like almost, I haven't swatched it side by side on my hand to confirm it, but it looks like this is a dead on dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow, Pillow Talk lipstick. Probably a much lower price point. Innocently is the shade. Everything will be listed in the description box below in the order in which I discuss it. So it's easier for you to reference. Okay, that's the longest I'm gonna talk about one product, I promise. Number two, most, I'm gonna put this in beauty. It's the Beauty Blender Solid Pro Cleanser. We all have to clean our brushes. I don't know anyone who truly loves it. I guess you can go into a meditative zen-like state as you're doing it, but if you wanna get through it as quickly as possible, as painlessly as possible, it is worth the money to splurge, I guess. It's not much of a splurge for this ginormous size. Gets your brushes cleaned much faster than the original. Um, it's a very clean way. It's not very messy and it smells really good. And see this dip? I don't, I'm really disliking this. Okay. Number three is the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder, not to be confused with their brightening powder. I've seen this a gajillion times. It's just a pressed powder that's white, but it isn't. It's magical. It won't make your lines fully disappear, but it definitely helps. And don't feel like you only have to put it under your eyes. I take the Real Technique setting brush and I pat it on my smile lines, my marionette lines, and it definitely helps. And it really helps prevent creasing in those areas as well. I wish they would just make this like maybe an all over setting powder. Just wrinkle. There's an idea. Laura Mercier, listening? No, they are not. Okay, the fourth favorite was a, something I loved as much as you did, so much so, I just realized, I've been sorting out my makeup. I bought it twice. Oy, oy, oy. This is the YSL Glossy Stain Lip Color. This one in particular is the shade 220. I don't want to name drop, but I happened to go to the Paula Abdul concert last night. It wasn't really a concert as much as it was like a performance. It was a an autobiography of her life. It was really... An amazing show. Um, it's on break now for the rest of the year. It goes back on tour again in March. If you do have an opportunity to go, it is 
Her story is incredible. It is uplifting. It is magical. More about that in December favorites. But um, this particular product is what I go to when I'm having an event, a special thing where I'm going to be taking pictures and I don't want to mess with my lipstick. A lot of you think that this is um, red. It is not red, in fact. It is, you have to layer it to get the full effect. But that, my friends, is pink. It's pink, it's not red. Now I better wipe this off fast before it stains, hang on. It stains, which is great, but it dries down to a lipstick consistency. So you still have a, a sheen to your lips and it doesn't feel drying and clingy on your lips and it does not budge. It's amazing. I hate my hair today. Number five in your beauty favorites, putting this in beauty, was the Laura Mercier Luxe Indulgences set, specifically the Amber Vanilla scent. You can get this in other scents, but I'm always gonna grab Amber when I can. Oh, I just, it included the, um, what do they call this? The honey bath, which comes with this cute little dispenser, comes with a pretty deluxe size, travel size of the matching perfume. It also came with um, lotion and shower gel. The shower gel is in my shower and the lotion is under my sink. So an amazing set if you're looking for a really nice gift for someone that you really, really like or for yourself who you should like a lot, highly recommend it. Now your picks for fashion. I'm gonna put those all over here. So number one is the Thread and Supply Wubby Fleece Pullover. It's magical. If you haven't experienced it, you need to get this into your life. Mine is hanging on a hook in my bathroom because I just, just reach for it every day. It's not even worth putting on a hanger and hanging up. The outside is very soft and cuddly and you just feel like you're wearing a hug. The inside is lined with like a really soft t-shirt sort of fabric. So let's just say you don't feel like wearing a shirt underneath it. It's like heaven. So I don't know, let's say you come home from a long day of work, you take off your work clothes, you take off your bra, because that's the second thing, you, third thing you take off after your shoes and your clothes, put that on. Also, it's thick enough and the texture, I don't know why I'm doing this, the wubby texture, it's not wubbly, by the way, I wrote it down, it's wubby. If you're worried about not wearing a bra underneath, it, it covers anything very well that's going on underneath, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, number two, the Gibson Cozy Twist Front Pullover. Um, I have mine in two colors, blue and like an olive green. They have released a ton of colors. The hot pink looks really pretty. I think they still have like basic black, which everyone needs. It's just the most versatile piece. You can wear it with almost any kind of bottom. You can, because it's fleece-ish, it's warm, but it's um, very thin. So very easy to layer um, under if you want it or over. So either way, definitely something I highly recommend grabbing and putting in your wardrobe if you don't have it already. Number three, these guys. The, I think they're the Linneo Paula, Paulo Felicia Wedge. These are listed as a booty on the Nordstrom website. Um, these are sneakers, my friends. So I have mine in black. They come in so many options. Um, definitely gonna get another one. Even for the summertime, I think white would be really cool. Number four were the Bobo Cozy Jogger Pants, obviously. I'm just over the moon thrilled that y'all have embraced the jogger trend as heavily as I have. These are a fleece texture, um, so they're soft and cozy, but because they're not a jersey or kind of like um, cottony t-shirt material, you can really dress these up depending on what you pair them with for your shoes and your tops. So they're an amazing price point. I believe they're under $50. For us, it's just, it's a great piece. I like that as pockets. I've washed a bunch of times, didn't do anything special. Helps, it's holding up great. And you could, I mean, they're so versatile. If you just wanted some pajama bottoms, they could work well for that too. Last of your top picks for fashion for November was the Thread and, Sla Thread and Supply, can talk today, Double Breasted Peacoat. I have mine in camel. There is, they are fully stocked. This thing has been on sale for like two years straight. I just, they should just say it's the regular price. It's under $40 for a double breasted, well-made peacoat. The Old Navy version is more expensive. It's, I think it's $37.50 and it comes in so many colors. So I love the camel because it goes with everything and I feel it's a little more sophisticated if you want a little girly pop of color. They have a very nice candy pink, all kinds of options. Definitely go check that one out if you haven't, although it looks like most of you have. Okay, let's get to accessories. The first on the list, I'm so happy to see that y'all love this as much as me, is the Gigi New York Andy or Andy crossbody. You've seen it. I've done a what's in my bag video on it. 
it's just a great size versatile bag and it does also come in quite a few colors um some new ones i think for the holiday season as well so definitely go check that one out number two are the kate spade pearl studs um i'll just insert a picture it's easier to see it close up these the description is misleading on the website so let me be very clear and the website, it, 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 the way it's described is it's, it insinuates that there's a pearl in the front and then a pearl on the back. That is not the case. In fact, it is a larger pearl, which you can see in the picture, a larger pearl, like a stud, and then hanging underneath that, like basically so it's attached, is a little, a littler, a smaller pearl. They're just so, they're perfect size and they're a step up from a basic pearl stud and I this hair. And under, I think it's 30, one thirty-two, right around just above thirty dollars. So it's a very nice price point. And number three on the top picks from your picks from accessories are these guys. Ooh, they kind of go with this. Should I keep them on? These are the Diff Coda sunglasses. They are polarized, and I really like mine. So if you're worried, by the way, about marks on your face, just put a little extra powder here before you stick them on. Um, and you should be good to go. And they actually come in a really nice case. And it also comes with a nice microfiber cloth that I, of course, promptly took out and stuck somewhere else. And now I don't know where I stuck it. Number four is, strangely enough, something on my wrist. I will insert a close-up, but it is the Lagos Caviar, what is this called? Lagos Caviar Color Hinge Cuff. What I like about this cuff more than my David Yerman, it's a very similar concept. They're both cuffs and they end in a jewel. And you can decide what jewel tone you want. I went with the smoky topaz, but there's a whole variety of colors. Is the David Yerman, you've gotta yank this off and it kinda hurts, um, especially if you have diamonds on the end like I do, that those are not comfortable. And you can bend it and it's gonna get a little misshapen. The caviar one from Lagos has a hinge, so it, you know, I think it's just a little more user friendly. This is the smaller size. There is a much larger one as well if you want a bigger, heavier piece. And the last thing from accessories I'm really excited to talk about, it's from Holly J, the, um, specifically these Starburst earrings. I will insert the pic. And um, I love them. They're so versatile. They go with so much. But she is just such an amazingly kind human that, um, and you all just bombarded her with orders, which was amazing. Thank you for supporting a small business like that. Um, I think the pieces stand for them, like stand up. So that's why so many people are ordering from there. But she sent me a little thank you package. And these earrings, I will insert close ups. These earrings are so delicate and beautiful, but there's so much detail in them. And then this necklace, I have this on the shortest length, but it's adjustable so I can make it longer or shorter. I know this is called the Sienna necklace. I cannot remember the name of the earrings. She also sent me a coupon code for all of you. I will put that in the description box for 15% off if you're getting your holiday orders together. So thank you, Holly, but thank you to all of you who are supporting Holly. Um, that means a lot to me, so I love to see that. Okay, moving on to lifestyle. The first thing is this Joy Spotlight Mirror. I love this thing so much. Um, the original link that I put up is sold out, but it comes in other colors but not they all look the same on the website to me okay i just turned it on um okay i turned it off it's ooh, nice profile okay so you've seen it maybe you haven't seen it because i just refer to it but when you open it up it comes with this nice tray so you can put all your makeup and it's not rolling around on your counter somewhere and um, i have it set so it just turns on automatically and lights up when you open it but there you go I can dim it, dim, or get really bright. And it has the um, magnetic five times and 10 times mirrors that you can click, click right on, and then it folds up very nicely. Love, love it. Okay, um, next on my lifestyle, not my lifestyle, well, these are all my favorites, so it's, it's kind of like repeating myself, but I'm excited. It is the Nordstrom at Home Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. Definitely bliss. They were on sale for under $30, $29.50. Now they're back at their full price, $39.50. Still an amazing deal. I have compared, I felt the Barefoot Dreams throw, which is well over $100. I would reach for this the same, if not more, because I feel like because it's such a reasonable price point, I wouldn't have to treat it so preciously. Like there's no way I would let my dog sleep on a Barefoot Dream 
throw. Um, and this, I don't care if I have this on my lap and the dogs are, are sitting on top of it and the dogs fight over it. So we're, we keep saying we're going to get more. I am, I swear. Okay. Number three was the trap holiday candle. Do I have to say anything more? I don't think so. If any of you have actually purchased this and burned it, please comment below on how amazing this smells. This is my backup. I love it that much because it's limited edition. So grab it while you can. And then number four of your favorites, I don't have to show you, is the six port USB desktop charging station that was one of my teen recommended gifts, gifts for teen boys. But honestly, maybe I'm just really immature, but I would happily get and receive any of those things and will probably buy all of them for myself at some point and looks very handy. In fact, I think I'm going to get it and, and um, put it in the, I'm looking at, at our kitchen that has like eight gajillion cords sticking out. I think I'm going to get it so we can set it up in the kitchen. It would be very helpful. And it's like, I don't know, it's well, under, it's definitely under $20. And then the last thing that was your favorite is just too big for me to haul in here. And another Amazon favorite. It is the luxury bathtub caddy. It's made from bamboo. It has two cup holders. It has a place for me to lean a book or an iPad or what have you. It stretches across my big garden tub, but you can make it really skin, you know, narrow as well. It's very lightweight. It's really sturdy. I've been taking a ton of baths over showers lately and it is held up beautifully. So those were your top picks from the month of November. Thank you. If I haven't said it before, I think I have, but I'll say it again. Thank you for using my links to shop. It's it's just the ultimate vote of confidence. When I see that you trust me enough, you 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 believe in my recommendations to go and use my links. So anyway, those were your top picks. Um, I hope you enjoyed them and I can't wait to see what your top picks are for the month of December. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.